this edition of the Alaska Aviation Link, we're going to talk about a Piper Cub that was refurbished by Above Alaska for the Alaska Airmen's Association raffle. The raffle this year will be held at the FedEx hangar, the Great Alaska Gathering on May 1st. Some of the items that are kind of unique about it, it's got an MT prop from uh, made in Germany, um, and that prop's constant speed, and it also has an electric reversing mechanism, so you can actually back this airplane up, whether you're on floats or skis or even on wheels. That's kind of unique. Uh, it's got uh, the first ever TSO'd Aero Classic 31-inch Tundra tires, which um, they've been experimental for a few years, I believe, but uh, now they're actually certified and they're working on getting STCs for the full GA. It's got uh, an angle of attack indicator inside with a little heads-up display you can pop up or lay down when you don't need it. And of course, that shows you right as you're gonna stall. It gives you an indication that you're in cruise. It shows you your, um, your best rate of climb speed and also your best glide speed. It also has a, um, a single engine instrument. It's an LCD full color display, uh, Electronics International CGR30P, which includes tachometer, manifold pressure, four probe EGT and CHT, outside air temperature, horsepower, volts, amps, oil temperature, oil pressure. Drew explains some of the performance. The airplane stalls at 36 miles per hour, flaps up, it has a 2,000 pound gross kit, weighed in at 1,261 pounds, giving it 739 pound useful load. Uh, as far as performance goes, uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna push the limits. I'm not gonna find out what it can actually do because it's not my airplane. <laughs> this aircraft was built and will be raffled off to raise money for the Alaska Airmen's Association for its aviation educational outreach statewide for Alaska. Only 7,500 tickets were available for the raffle. So we've heard all about the different mods on this aircraft. We've heard a little bit about its performance. It's the kind of aircraft that just about anyone in Alaska would want for flying around in the bush. See this and all the other new accessories and things about aviation at the Great Alaska Gathering on April 30th and May 1st. We'll see you at the FedEx building. I'm Rob Stapleton for your Alaska Aviation Link.